Welcome back to the Navy Channel, where we dive deep into the cutting-edge technologies and strategies shaping the future of naval warfare. Today, we're shining a spotlight on one of the most advanced and futuristic weapons systems in the United States Navy's arsenal, the Laser Weapon System. The Laser Weapon System is one of the most exciting developments in military technology in recent years. This isn't just science fiction anymore. The Laser Weapon System is very much a reality. Developed by the United States Navy, this system represents a significant leap forward in how we think about naval defense. But what exactly is the Laser Weapon System? How does it work? And what does it mean for the future of warfare? The Laser Weapon System is a directed energy weapon, which means it uses highly focused energy, in this case, laser light, to damage or destroy its targets. It's not like a typical cannon or missile system that relies on explosive force. Instead, the laser weapon system emits a concentrated beam of light that can be directed at an enemy target with pinpoint accuracy. So, what does that mean in practical terms? Essentially, the laser weapon system can take down threats like drones, small boats, and potentially even incoming missiles at the speed of light. It's a system that provides a new level of precision and efficiency in defense. The primary role of the laser weapon system is to protect naval vessels from a variety of threats. The Navy has identified several key areas where the laser weapon system could be a game changer. First, there's the threat of drones. Drones are increasingly used in modern warfare for reconnaissance, targeting, and even direct attacks. The laser weapon system can engage and destroy these drones before they get close enough to pose a serious threat. The precision of the laser means it can focus on and disable the drone's sensors, cameras, or guidance systems without needing to obliterate the entire device, although it certainly can do that too. Next, the laser weapon system can be used against small boats. In certain scenarios, these can be particularly dangerous especially when loaded with explosives and directed toward larger ships. The laser weapon system allows for a non-explosive, accurate means of disabling or destroying these boats from a distance, neutralizing the threat without causing additional collateral damage. And while the current version of the laser weapon system is primarily focused on these smaller threats, future iterations might be capable of engaging more significant threats like incoming missiles. The Navy sees the potential for the laser weapon system to be a key component in a layered defense strategy, complementing other systems to create a multi-tiered shield around naval vessels. When the laser weapon system targets something, it directs a beam of energy to a specific point on the target. The energy heats that point to extreme temperatures very quickly, often causing the material to melt, ignite, or vaporize. For a drone, this could mean disabling key components like sensors or control surfaces, causing it to crash. For small boats, it might mean puncturing the hull or destroying the engine, rendering it inoperable. One of the significant advantages of the laser weapon system is that the damage is precise and can be controlled. The operator can adjust the intensity of the laser to either dazzle and disable sensors or ramp up the power to destroy the target entirely. This flexibility makes the laser weapon system an incredibly versatile tool in a variety of combat situations. But what about the cost? Traditional missile systems can be incredibly expensive, with each missile costing hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. In contrast, the cost per shot with the laser weapon system is significantly lower. Once the system is installed, firing the laser only requires electrical power, which is far cheaper than manufacturing and deploying missiles. Estimates suggest that each shot could cost as little as $1, mainly the cost of the energy needed to generate the laser. This makes the laser weapon system not only effective, but also cost-efficient for ongoing operations. Of course, no system is perfect, and the laser weapon system has its limitations. 
One of the primary considerations is range. Currently, the laser weapon system is most effective at short to medium ranges. The laser beam itself travels at the speed of light, so it hits the target almost instantaneously. However, the further the target, the more the beam spreads out, which can reduce its effectiveness. This means that the laser weapon system is best used against targets that are relatively close to the ship, typically within a few kilometers. Another factor is atmospheric conditions. Rain, fog, smoke, or dust can scatter the laser beam, reducing its intensity and accuracy. While the laser weapon system can still function in these conditions, its effectiveness might be diminished. The Navy continues to research and develop ways to mitigate these effects, such as increasing the power of the laser or using adaptive optics to compensate for atmospheric distortion. The first operational deployment of the laser weapon system was aboard the USS Ponce, an amphibious transport dock ship. The USS Ponce served as a test bed for the laser weapon system, allowing the Navy to evaluate the system in real-world conditions. The success of these tests has led to further interest in deploying the laser weapon system on other vessels, including destroyers and potentially aircraft carriers in the future. Ships with advanced electrical systems, like the Zumwalt-class destroyers, are prime candidates for future installations. These ships are designed with integrated power systems that can generate the necessary energy for both propulsion and advanced weapon systems, like the laser weapon system. Now, while the laser weapon system is an exciting development, it's not the only game in town when it comes to defending naval vessels. Let's talk about some alternative systems, starting with CRAM. CRAM is designed to defend against anti-ship missiles, drones, and aircraft. It offers a longer range than traditional CIW systems and can engage multiple targets simultaneously. The system is autonomous, meaning it can detect, track, and engage targets without human intervention, though it can also be manually controlled. One of the advantages of CRAM is that it combines the best aspects of missile defense with the advanced tracking and targeting capabilities of the Phalanx system. This makes it a versatile and highly effective defense system for a wide range of naval platforms. RAM missiles are highly agile and use infrared guidance to hone in on their targets. This allows them to track and destroy threats with high precision, even in challenging conditions. RAM is designed to be a last line of defense protecting ships from missiles that have managed to evade other layers of defense. One of the standout features of RAM is its speed. The missile can reach its target in a matter of seconds, giving it a critical edge in close quarters naval engagements. This rapid response capability makes RAM an invaluable asset for modern naval vessels, especially when operating in contested waters. The Phalanx CIWS is often referred to as the last line of defense for naval ships. It uses a 20mm-61 Vulcan Gatling gun capable of firing up to 4,500 rounds per minute. The gun is paired with advanced radar systems that can detect and track incoming threats, such as missiles or aircraft, automatically. Once a threat is detected, Phalanx takes over, aiming and firing at the target with incredible speed and accuracy. The idea is to create a wall of lead that can intercept and destroy incoming projectiles before they hit the ship. Phalanx is highly effective at close range, making it an essential part of a ship's defensive arsenal. While Phalanx has been around for several decades, it's continually being upgraded to stay ahead of emerging threats. Newer versions include improved radar and fire control systems, as well as the integration with other defensive technologies like C-RAM. As we've explored today, the laser weapon system is far more than just a glimpse into the future. It's a transformative leap in naval defense technology that's already shaping the battlefield of tomorrow. The laser weapon system brings a new level of precision, efficiency, and cost effectiveness to the U.S. Navy, allowing it to neutralize threats at the speed of light with pinpoint accuracy. Now that you've learned about the laser weapon system, 
and its potential to revolutionize naval defense. What do you think? Do you see the laser weapon system becoming the standard for future naval warfare? Or do you think there are other technologies that might take the lead? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us today on the Navy Channel. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our future deep dives into the latest naval technologies. Let us know in the comments what you think about the potential of the laser weapon system and what other naval systems you'd like us to cover. Until next time, stay safe and stay informed.